Okay, so we're going to do uh, division of fractions, the models. We're going to do two different types of models. We're going to do um, circles or like pie graphs and number lines. So we'll do examples for both of those. Remember that uh, at any time that you're doing a problem that involves the use of a model, you can go back and watch these videos and go through it step by step and pause it to make sure that you're doing all the steps that you need to do. And if you get stuck, of course, uh, don't hesitate to come and talk to either myself or Mrs. Burns or Mrs. Potter um, the next day so that we can get any confusion cleared up. Okay, so just like with multiplication, we're always going to start off doing the question mathematically first before we represent it as a picture. Uh, I like the reciprocation model most. I find it the easiest, most simple uh, method of dividing fractions. So that is the exam uh, that's the model of math that I will use throughout these uh, questions. If you want to use common denominator, then you can do that as you see fit. So uh, let's get going. So we're going to change this to 5 over 1. Uh, remember when we are using the reciprocation model, we convert that to a multiplication question and we flip this second fraction. So my new question then becomes 5 over 1 times 3 over 2. I check to see if anything can be simplified across. Uh, nothing can, so that ends up being 15 over 2. That is an improper fraction that I have to convert to a mixed numeral. 2 goes into 15 uh, 7 times for 14. 15 take away 14 leaves us with 1 over our original 2. So we're going to start off with the circle. So we're going to represent this mathematical question using uh, circles um, cut into like pie pieces. So the first thing we're going to do is draw what we have here. Okay, so we want to know if we have five. So we're going to draw five circles. If we have five holes and we divide them into two-thirds, what will we have? So once we have our fives, we're going to cut them all into pieces that are represented by our denominator. So I'm going to divide each one of these circles into thirds. And we want to know how many two-thirds we can get out of five holes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to count up our two-thirds. So how I would do this is I would take each two-third and I would use a number to represent it. So for example, here we have one two-third. So here's a third, here's our second third. Okay, so that's one. Here's our second two-third. Third. Fourth. Fifth sixth and seventh and here we have a leftover one which is one out of two okay it's important to remember that when we have a leftover that doesn't make a whole it is out of the number of total in our numerator okay so it's not our denominator so it's not out of three because remember we're counting two-thirds so we have seven two-thirds and one out of two possible two-thirds left over. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our picture represents seven and one remaining out of two. That's how you would use the model circle.